The Lord sees those tears. He knows where you've been discouraged. He knows where you're hurting. I'm talking to y'all in the lobby. I'm talking to y'all in these two overflow rooms. He knows where you're battling shame. He knows about the things in your past you hope nobody finds out. He knows what's going on on the inside. He knows when you're tired. He knows when you're weary. He knows you feel frustrated with yourself. He knows you feel like you should be further along. He knows you keep slipping into sin and your heart don't, like he knows all of that, right? They gotta be a contender for the faith on the inside. They gotta be something you that fights like hell to keep the faith on the inside. You gotta keep throwing logs on that fire. When you don't know how to pray, you text somebody, pray for me. When you're feeling weak, even if you don't know how to mend, you just crawl into his presence and, and just cry. He can read your tears. When you feel like quitting and you're on the edge of giving up, man, just back away just a little bit and remember where he brought you from. I don't even know who this is for, but man, don't quit. Don't jump off the edge like, like fight for the faith on the inside. Man, Jude would go on to say, stir up the gift that's on the inside. And then he would go on to warn us against the three things that's destroying the church. False teaching. Nobody's not going to say amen to this next part. Watch idolatry which is the worship of all things created instead of the creator so you worship men you worship athletes you worship titles you worship money you worship positions you worship ideas you worship your dreams we worship all these things we created above the creator that is killing the church it's killing our effectiveness it's killing your sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. How in God's name can you be sensitive to the Holy Spirit when you have altars in front of you of other gods? You, you got your dream is on, a, is on an altar. Your ambitions are on an altar. The husband you want so bad is on an altar. The relationship you want so bad is on an altar. Your financial, your financial goals is on your altar. You got all these things on your altar. They're like high places that you worship and you 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 bowing down to all these things in your heart it's no wonder you can't hear God it's no wonder you have no power it's no wonder you don't sense it because you have all these idols that you and it's not the Lord is not it's not like he don't care about you having a job or resources is that it just shouldn't be above him 